So butchering turkeys doesn't have to be like a crazy extensive setup, but there are a couple things that are gonna make it easier. Doesn't have to be expensive, but one thing that if you're gonna be doing this on a regular basis, things to spend your money on, a chicken plucker just makes that task uh, 10 times easier. I mean, it's just so much faster. Another thing that you should purchase is one of these big kind of jet boil like pots. Having that big pot, especially for a turkey, because they're literally six to 10 times bigger than chickens, is really valuable if you want to make the feathers to come off a lot easier. Um, otherwise, we have a really simple setup for how we butcher. I've got a, like a slack line with carabiners that we hang the turkeys up. Uh, we hang them upside down and we slit their throat and they go to sleep. And then um, once they're totally in paradise, then that's when we dip them in the water. Oh, oh this one's heavy. D-E-D, -E -D, dead. Yeah, it is. Holy cow. So that is what they, that's the gizzard. And that is everything that they. See all those. Hold on. Mitchell, come here. Hey. How it, how it grinds it all up. And mm -hmm. those are like literal stones. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? It's grody. Grody. Now I gotta clean the table. Grody, grody. That's just a that's just a muscle that just gr grinds puts it. it all together, right? <laughs> yep. yeah. It's done. We butchered 21 turkeys. And uh, a lot of people ask, what do we do with the guts and feathers and stuff like that? Um, we keep the feet, hearts, livers, and, what else? and the head, neck. and the neck. And we'll make, uh, the neck is my favorite. We will use that to make uh, turkey carnitas, put it in a crock pot, slow cook it, so good. But we try not to waste anything on our farm. So all the guts and feathers, we're gonna compost. And right now we're gonna take this pile of feathers 
and bring it over to in a wheelbarrow where we've got buckets of guts and we've got a fresh load of wood chips that will kind of layer on top of each other guts wood chips guts wood chips and we'll let that compost all winter long dad yeah are we gonna bury this stuff too yep it's going in the, this is going in the garden because you said we were making lasagna and if we didn't bury it then it would be the cheese <laughs> what do you think this what do you think you guys you think this is weird or you think this is responsible <laughs> out a turkey because after we gut them we put the guts in for compost and then we take out like the livers and the hearts and the heads are for broth and the feet are for broth and then the necks are for carnitas and then we just try to use every part basically anyway so then once it's gutted and cleaned and beautiful and that's what comes to the table that's what we're going to be putting on people's table for Thanksgiving. And it's all pretty. Uh, we put it in an ice bath. I was dumping out the pink water and it got into my boot. And it was really gross. And then I go back to myself and I say, um, why do I do this? <clears throat> I do it to feed my babies good food healthy food nutrient dense food so when you are asking yourself why you do it and you pour her disgusting muck water blood water into your boot just remember why you do these things it's not easy uh, thank you guys for hanging out with us we're done here we need to go take a shower because I've got turkey guts all over me we do need to probably do a little bit more cleanup and make dinner. We're not having any poultry for dinner just because that's <laughs> how it works after you butcher your turkeys all day. So thank you guys for hanging out with us on our homesteading journey today. Uh, we really appreciate it. Make sure on your way out you like this video, subscribe if you're not, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we come out with another video. Thanks guys. Turkey, oh. oh my gosh. But I don't want to lick my lips. <laughs>